Hey everyone, this week I want to share with you something that I'm calling the Goldilocks theory. So, Goldilocks and the three bears, right? Young girl walking in the woods, comes across the bear's house uh, one morning, breaking and entering, uh, looking for food, tries Papa Bear's porridge and it's too hot, tries Mama Bear's porridge and it's too cold, tries Baby Bear's porridge and it's just right. Goldilocks concept is this idea that customers have a particular need or set of wants that we are trying to meet and what we want to do is not too much, not not enough, but just right. We want to find that sweet spot and that if and when we do find that sweet spot, not only is it the best thing for our customers because it's delivering exactly what's important to them, but it's also the right thing for our business because we're not over delivering, we're not doing too much, we're not under delivering and then generating complaints and support requests. We're dealing, we're delivering exactly what the customers want, what meets their needs, and that's that's the sweet spot for them and for us as a business. So, uh, Vanguard Method, I believe, called this the concept of nominal value, and they draw beautiful parabolas with a little arrow in the middle. So you want to find that spot right at the point that's in the middle of not too much and not too little. Uh, Malcolm Gladwell also has a great TED talk that he does, uh, which I believe is called Happiness and Spaghetti Sauce or something to that effect. Um, and I put that out there on the homework list for leaders because it's a really great look at this idea of what is that value proposition for customers? How do we find it? And then in Malcolm's talk, he talks about actually starting to cluster customers together so that you get outside of this myth of personalization and doing something for everybody individually and actually start to cluster customer needs together and be able to deliver to that in a manageable way. So that's the concept, Goldilocks con concept. Not too much, not too little, just right. So we want to find this point because if we are doing too much, if we are over delivering for our customers, then when we are investing more time, energy, money, resources than we need to to deliver what meets their needs. And so we are in a situation where not only are we doing what it is that they asked of us and doing it really, really well, but we're actually doing a whole bunch more. And I came across one company that was actually handing out movie passes, like free movie tickets to customers, in addition to them buying a service as a way to, to try and incentivize them to give them good reviews, right? So that's a classic example of this sort of over-servicing. Um, not so much the over-delivering and delivering to high standard, but that point where it gets kind of extreme and you start handing out movie tickets for buying a product, right? It's getting quite disconnected from the thing that we're trying to do. Um, and I think often it distracts us from delivering and delivering really well. Now on the flip side, you have under delivery, which is just your classic case of, hey, we didn't do what we said we were gonna do. And as a result, we're gonna end up with customers calling to make complaints. We're gonna end up with customers that need extra support. It's generating all of this work that we're then having to put our time, energy, resources to, when in actual fact, if we had simply delivered what mattered to customers the first time, then we wouldn't need to do all of that extra work to sort of bring them up to that point where we're meeting their expectations. And so the Goldilocks concept says that we want to find that balance point right in the middle where we're doing just right, just right. And that that is necessarily going to have a knock-on effect in our business, both in the way that we invest our time and energy and resources, where we spend that time and energy, uh, but also, final outcome, costs, right? It's going to reduce the cost in our business because we're doing exactly what's needed, um, we're, we're delivering what matters, and we're not doing any more than that, and we're not doing any less than that. And there is some really critical, uh, I guess, subtlety in here around when you allow the customer to be the arbiter of that value, then we might feel like we're over-servicing, but actually that might be exactly what's needed to get the customer what they want. And that if we don't do that, it's gonna generate all those support and inquiries. So there's some subtlety and some nuance in this, right? Um, and equally, not all customers are gonna want the same thing. So we have different, different types of customers coming into our organization. We have our papa bears who want really, really hot porridge. We have our mama bears that want cold porridge. And then we have baby bears and Goldilockses in the middle that want it just right. And so just right for one might not be just right for another. The example I use here is if we're in a cafe that serves both families and hipster digital nomads, those two groups of people want totally different things, right? 
that just right point for the family is, hey, I've got my order in, it's quick and easy, the kids have got something to do and their food arrives before mine and I need my coffee, but if my food comes later, that's okay, but like just keep the kids quiet. That digital nomad is going to be sitting there going, is the Wi-Fi fast? Can I get coffee on tap? Do you have artisan teas, potentially ceremonial cacao with adaptogen? Coffee cream is on top too, please. So different types of value, right? So the Goldilocks concept applies to an individual customer group around, are we delivering what matters to that individual customer? For our families, are we getting their food out to them quickly and making sure that their kids have their food first so the kids take bite and don't scream too much? And digital nomads have got their Wi-Fi and their super awesome, like super strength black coffee going as well. So we need to deliver to each of those individual value propositions. And then as we start to stack those overall, as we're delivering to each of those clusters, this is where Malcolm Gladwell's work comes in, then we're going to be delivering what matters to the majority of our customers the majority of the time. We're not over delivering by giving them a whole bunch more stuff on top than what they need and therefore costing ourselves more in the process. And we're not under delivering, so we're not generating those complaints, the support inquiries, all of that wasted effort that comes from our failure to deliver or to deliver right first time. So that's it, Goldilocks concept. Not too much, not too little, just right. And that's gonna be right for our customers and right for our business. So I hope you've had a bit of fun with that one. Um, drop me a comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear the scenarios that you have witnessed in your organization where maybe you've completely over-delivered or completely under-delivered. Um, and some of the stories that come with being at either sides of those spectrum, or potentially that point that you found that was just right, and maybe it felt like you wanted to go and do a whole bunch more stuff, but actually it was enough. So let me know your stories. I would love to hear them. Hit me up with a comment below or email me. Um, as always, I am here for you, ready to help. I do read all the emails that come through to my inbox, so I'm always happy to receive some feed, excuse me, some feedback from you on that one. And uh, yeah, I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having an awesome, awesome day and I will see you again next week.